11 Priceless Treasures of King Tutankhamun Tutankhamun Mask The most renowned artifact discovered in Tutankhamun's tomb is his mask. The ornate mask, which was placed on Tut's face, is 21 inches long, 53 centimeters, and weighs 22 pounds, 10 kilograms. On the back of the mask is a hieroglyphic spell from the book that guaranteed the mask's ability to function as the face of the deceased, Marianne Eaton Krauss, a senior fellow at the American Research Center in Egypt, wrote in her book The Unknown Tutankhamun. She noticed that the same spell is inscribed on the third deepest coffin in which Tutankhamun was interred. Golden Sandals Tutankhamun's corpse was discovered with gold shoes on. The total length was about 29.5 centimeters, 11.6 inches, said Andre Veldmayer, head of the Ancient Egyptian Footwear Project, in an email to Live Science. According to Veldmayer, Tutankhamun would not have worn these shoes when he was living. These sandals were most likely created especially for his burial. These gold shoes would have been cut from a plate of gold sheet and embossed probably on a soft surface protected by a layer of leather, Veldmayer explained, adding that this process is not that different from how thin metal is hammered into shape and decorated in modern days. Trumpets According to the book The Science of Brass Instruments, two trumpets, one made of silver and the other of gilded bronze, were discovered in Tutankhamun's tomb and are among the world's oldest surviving labor ones. Instruments played with vibrations from the lips. The trumpets were performed by musician James Tappern in a 1939 BBC show that can be heard on YouTube. The experts observed that because Tappern had to use a contemporary wooden mouthpiece to play the horns, it's unclear whether the notes he played would have been feasible during Tutankhamun's period. Because of their fragility, performing these instruments is now forbidden. Chest plate. This colorful chest plate was found in Tutankhamun's tomb and looks to contain a scarab-shaped amulet in the center. These amulets were common in ancient Egypt because the scarab beetle was regarded as a sign of revival or rebirth. Board games. According to the book Ancient Egyptians at Play, Board Games Across Borders, Tutankhamun's tomb contained at least four board games. Some of the ivory boards and game components discovered in the mausoleum appear to be intended for the game of 20 and Senate. The principles of neither game are completely obvious. Tut and Wife This artwork discovered in Tutankhamun's tomb depicts Tutankhamun and his wife, Onku Senemun. However, Onku Senemun's tomb has not been discovered and is thought to be somewhere in the Valley of the Kings. Shapti Tutankhamun's tomb contained a shapti. Shaptis were frequently discovered in ancient Egyptian tombs and were intended to assist the deceased in the afterlife. This shapti is constructed of basalt and holds a crook and flail. Diadem This diadem was discovered in Tutankhamun's tomb and depicts a vulture and a snake. It's composed of gold, glass, lapis lazuli, obsidian, and malachite, among other things. Chariots. According to a 2020 study released in the magazine Comité International pour l'Egyptologie, six chariots were discovered in Tutankhamun's tomb. The researchers observed in their report that Carter referred to two of the most elaborate chariots as state chariots. The experts' in-depth study on restoration of one of the state chariots revealed that it had a canopy above it that could have given shelter for those traveling in it. On the right side of the chariot, there are depictions of six foreign prisoners, as well as hieroglyphs with the names Tutankhamun and Anku Senemun. Animal Mural Tutankhamun's funerary painting appears to depict six baboons and a scarab on a boat. Baboons were brought to Egypt from further south, while scarab and sex were linked with rebirth or revival. Bed this bed is one of several discovered in Tutankhamun's tomb. It is made of timber that has been gilded with gold and depicts livestock. Cows were sometimes linked with Hathor, a deity associated with abundance and affection in ancient Egypt.